You thought Uncharted 4 was the final main entry of Naughty Dog's hugely successful franchise? You were wrong. Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of How It's Going To Be Like, the show where we try to imagine the most accurate shape of an upcoming game, regardless if it's confirmed or not, and we base that on rumors, speculations and hints from developers. Today we are talking about Uncharted 5, its eventual development, its setting, who is going to be the main protagonist and many other things. Also, there's going to be some spoilers for Uncharted 4's ending, so if you didn't finish the game, you should probably stop watching this video. And before we continue, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and consider subscribing to the channel. So the first question that we have to ask is, what are the chances of seeing Uncharted 5? It is true that Uncharted 4 was indeed supposed to be the last entry in the series, according to Naughty Dog's creative director, Neil Druckmann. It was meant to be the end of Uncharted, but with the insane critical and commercial success of this fourth installment, Naughty Dog has slightly modified its statement from the end of Uncharted to the end of Uncharted featuring Nathan Drake as the main protagonist. And we can already see the results of this decision with the upcoming spin-off, The Lost Legacy, with Chloe Fraser at its center. As for the main sequel, it is interesting to know that it could be developed by another studio than Naughty Dog. Drakman stated before, if new developers made a great game, I'd be excited. I'd want to play an Uncharted I didn't work on. It would be a lot of fun. And he adds, obviously we would have a big part in it as the creators of the franchise. We just want to make sure they get the essence of it right. So to answer the question asked before, yes, there are big chances that Uncharted 5 is going to see the light of day, it's almost inevitable, but it won't star Nathan Drake, and it may be developed by a new studio with Naughty Dog as supervisors. As for the release date, frankly I wouldn't expect to see it in this console generation. Naughty Dog has their hands busy with The Last of Us Part 2 right now, it would make more sense if they release it as a PlayStation 5 launch title. But if Nate is taking a backseat this time, then who will we control? The rumors talk about two strong candidates, the first being the fans' favorite, Victor Sullivan, during his young age, meaning that Uncharted 5 would be a prequel. Sully is one of the most popular characters of the Uncharted universe, and seeing him as the main protagonist this time will be a great opportunity to further develop his character. The second candidate on the other hand is more likely to win the main role. During Uncharted 4's epilogue, we had the chance to play as Nathan's daughter, Cassie. She is curious, smart and resourceful. Cassie Drake appears to be the perfect substitute for her father in an eventual sequel. What supports more this possibility is Naughty Dog's love for strong female characters, as proven lately with Chloe and Nadine as the main heroines in The Lost Legacy. And let's not forget Ellie, who will take the lead role instead of Joel in the upcoming The Last of Us Part 2. If Cassie turns out to be the main protagonist in Uncharted 5, then Lara Croft is going to have a serious competitor for the title of the best female treasure huntress in gaming. The Uncharted games are notorious for making the player visit different exotic settings, but each installment has a specific main theme, despite the fact that you can visit many locations in the same game. By looking back at the last four entries, we'll find the jungle theme, the snow theme, the desert theme and the jungle theme again. But one theme in particular is absent in all the Uncharted games, a theme that is pretty popular in other action-adventure games. I'm talking about the water theme. I think this theme has a lot of potential. Not only it offers a completely different setting from the previous installments, but there is quite a number of archaeological discoveries plus myth and legends about lost civilizations beneath the surface of water. Atlantis is one prime example of that. Of course, this means there is going to be a lot of swimming, but expect to find your usual quota of platforming, shooting and puzzle solving as well. Naughty Dog seems to realize how much potential their series still has. We can tell so by their decision of making The Lost Legacy a separate standalone title instead of a simple Uncharted 4 expansion as it was supposed to be. 
The initial decision of ending the franchise with a thief's end was heartbreaking for many, myself included. The series didn't show any sign of fatigue, unlike other games. Thankfully, we can all rejoice now knowing that Naughty Dog still has plans for it. Even without the charismatic Nathan Drake at its core, there is no doubt that an eventual Uncharted 5 will take the action-adventure genre by storm, as its prequels did before it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click a thumbs up if you did, and why not consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.